Today I will be presenting one of uh, Professor Barre's uh, failed back surgery uh, cases. So this is a 37-year-old man with the uh, known to have Sherman kyphosis, otherwise negative past medical history. Uh, he, he has a high-grade lumbar spondylitis diseases that was operated in 2006 in another uh, center. Uh, he had a uh, posterior fixation with radical screws between L4 and S1. The fixation was done in situ without any uh, reduction. And he had a uh, posterior lumbar but diffusion at the level of L5 uh, S1. He had good surgical outcome and symptom relief uh, until 2018, where he started to complain of recurrent pain. Mainly, um, he uh, represented to our uh, clinics in February 2020 with significant low back pain with bilateral lower extremity uh, radiation that required daily oral morphine intake. And he uh, required a cane for ambulation. And he had a very limited walking distance estimated at 100 meters. On the neurological exam, he had a right lower extremity deficit at three over five and at the left uh, lower extremity at four over five. He had an EVA score that was elevated at eight over 10 Eiffel score at 19 and osteoarthritis disability index at 31. <laughs> so here we can see um, the, uh, the radio images uh, for this patient. Here we can see the fixation that was done involving L4, L5, and S1 screws with the uh, with the P lift that was done, showing a very uh, significant lumbosacral uh, kyphosis and uh, a rigid deformity rigid and fixed deformity. Here we can also see a posterior um, defect due to the uh, laminectomy that was done. Here is the scan done in July 2019, showing the, uh, showing the same uh, fixation. Here we can appreciate the cages that were uh, inserted. And here we can see uh, the significant rigidity at the uh, L5-S1 uh, area. Here we can appreciate the Sherman uh, kyphosis on the, th the thoracic uh, spine. And here is the MRI done in August 2019, showing a mild uh, L4 uh, canal stenosis with no significant stenosis at the level uh, of the sacrum. Here we can appreciate multiple disc degeneration, also the same in the uh, thoracic, uh, thoracic spine. So this is the AS that was done in February 2020 showing significant sagittal equilibrium. The patient had a very high SVA measuring at 13.5 centimeters and a retroverted pelvis uh, with a pelvic incidence of 75.6, a pelvic tilt at 34.9. And the interesting issue here is the L4 uh, S1, uh, very limited, uh, very low lordosis, which leads to a very high PI uh, <laughs> lumbar lordosis mismatch. Here, uh, showing the um, uh, showing uh, the Schwab classification, this patient fits into the very high deformity category in all these uh, parameters. So, as a case summary, this is a 37-year-old man. He had a L4-S1 fixation for high-grade spondylo, presenting with severe low back pain, recurrent with radiculopathy, a lumbosacral kyphosis with retroverted pelvis and the very decompensated sagittal balance, and with a very low L4-S1 uh, lower doses. So I will leave this maybe for the discussion uh, after, afterwards. So what we did is actually in February 20, 2021, uh, bilateral um, S1 pedicle subtraction osteotomy uh, with L2 to L5 pedicle screw uh, fixation along with the insertion of uh, bilateral index screws and a sublaminar uh, band. Here we can really appreciate the uh, osteotomy that was done at the level uh, of S1. Here is the interesting part, comparing the pre-op and the post-op parameters, showing significant improvement in the uh, SVA with reduction of almost uh, four uh, centimeters from 13.5 to 9.5 centimeters. And a correction of the uh, pelvic um, uh, retroversion with significant lowering of the uh, pelvic incidence and the uh, uh, pelvic uh, tilt. Here we can also mark that the patient had, uh, had um, uh, improved uh, concerning his um, L4 S1 uh, lordosis, uh, gaining almost 11, uh, 11 uh, degrees. 
and significantly also the pelvic incidence lumbar lordosis mismatch has been significantly uh, improved. Here we can see the patient in pre-op having to flex his hips as a compensatory mechanism. And in post-op, the patient is standing more in an upright uh, position without having to decompensate. So clinically, the patient was able to walk with, a, with his brace uh, uh, post-operatively with mild help. And he reported significant decrease in his bilateral lower extremity uh, pain. He had no neurological uh, complications. And also, you had no uh, complications concerning uh, other uh, parameters, neither bleeding or infection. So, a quick note on the technique of the sacral uh, radical subtraction osteotomy, which is a very technically demanding uh, the technique and associated with, with very high risks. Uh, the osteotomy extends uh, from, the, uh, from the dorsal S1 foramen up to the uh, top of the uh, sacral ala, including the anterior cortex of the uh, sacrum. The surgeon has to have a very, uh, very good knowledge of the anatomy, or else there, there is a very high risk of vascular, mainly, uh, mainly the internal iliac artery and vein, vascular injury, and he has to have very good knowledge of the L5 and the S1 nerve root uh, uh, position. So, what are the main indications for uh, sacral uh, pedicle uh, subtraction osteotomy? Mainly, uh, like in our patient, if the patient has a fixed high-grade uh, L5 uh, S1 spondylolisthesis, and if he has a very severe uh, sagittal imbalance with the deformity mainly below uh, L4. Other uh, indications are kyphotic deformity secondary to sacral uh, fractures, and in patients where we have a very high uh, lordosis, more than 90 degrees, which overwhelms the ability of the lumbar osteotomy to further correct the uh, lordosis. And in patients with very high pelvic incidence, more than 90, which was in our patient uh, uh, almost 70, 70, uh, 73 degrees. I would like to thank you and we'll uh, keep the uh, floor open for discussions with uh, Professor Barry uh, concerning this case. Uh, Wasim, I have a question. Do you always simulate uh, your cases uh, before operating on them? Always the cases are discussed with the Professor Barry. The angles are measured using the, uh, using the uh, special softwares. And uh, according to the uh, angles, the osteotomy is studied and uh, the location and the extent of the osteotomy is, uh, is decided. Yes, I, I can do a, a comment on the, on the case. Thank you, Wasim, for the nice presentation. So um, I would say that it, it's a difficult case because it's a rigid, uh, kyphotic deformity in the lumbosacral zone. So normally you have a much uh, of the low doses between L4 and S1. And in this case, there is a, a important and completely uh, rigid and fused kyphotic uh, L4 sacrum segment. So the only way to correct the deformity is to go uh, with that kind of osteotomy. So you have to go uh, to a sacral osteotomy is the only way to correct the deformity. There is no other relevant option. So of course, it's a very technical, uh, difficult surgery. You have to understand perfectly the anatomy. Um, Wasim uh, show us the, the risk anteriorly to the to the sacrum that there is, you, are, you need to protect regarding the vessels, nerve root, and so on. But at the end, it's feasible and it's um, it's um, surgery that could very be helpful for that kind of deformity. Thank you, Dr. Scafi. Also. Yeah. Yes, uh, we're seeing very nice case. Uh, how, what do you do to protect the vessels and how do you do it? Do you do it before you do the osteotomy or at the end of your osteotomy? So, um, in fact, the, the, the risk is uh, when you separate the S1 vertebral body uh, with the sacral ala. So you need yes. to, uh, after the classical osteotomy, you need then to separate uh, the, the vertebral body of S1 
to the circular area. So you need to drill. So I, I use two tricks uh, to protect the vessels. First, I, I dissect uh, the superior border of the circular area and I push some hemostatic uh, uh, product to, to push entirely the vessels. And also I drill, I, I don't use a steel I, I use a drill, diamond, diamond drill to, uh, to reset the bone and uh, be uh, safe regarding the, the soft tissue entirely. Yeah, this is what I meant. You... Yeah, this is what I meant. I mean, you use the diamond drill, not the osteotome. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. And, and one more question. I congratulate uh, the presenter for this case. Uh, very well done, but uh, as you show, very difficult. And this, uh, it's uh, for me, the importance of the correction of the lombosacral kyphosis is the high grade sp sp spondylo. And uh, 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 if, you, if you reduce the, the, the kyphosis, not completely, but if you if you re reduce sufficiently to have a, a good alignment af after, not so bad. Uh, this will prevent to 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 have such difficult case to do when you do inside to fusion of such a problem because it is only a question of kyphosis and not slippage. 